Rosenblatt High School, good morning! This is so exciting, I can't believe it. We're back in the studio. Can you believe this place? Look at this, oh my goodness, what is going on around here? I can't believe it, I am so excited. We have an incredible show. It's Hanukkah, latkes, sufganiyot, all kinds of surprises. We're so glad you're with us. We've got an incredible show for you today. We got some interviews, some music. We're gonna light the menorah. There's all kinds of crazy things that are gonna happen. So stay with us. First, we're going right over to Eitan. Eitan, are you there? Eitan, we need you. Take us away, Eitan. All right, thank you, Rabbi. We're here in Don Clutch Academy High School. We'll be going around interviewing students and faculty our favorite Hanukkah questions. Let's get it started. All right, we're here with Adana Klein. What's your name? Jonathan. All right, Yontan, we just have a simple question for you. We just want to know, do you prefer latkes or sufrani on Hanukkah? Oh, uh, sufrani. Why? Why is that? I don't know. They're just sweet, and I like sweet things. You like sweet things? Yeah. That's very nice. All right. You heard it here first. Our boy, Yontan, he likes sufganiyos. All right. All right. All right. All right. Donna Conjures Academy. Lunchtime. About 1240. What's your name? David. What's up, David? Okay, we're here. We're filming a video for Hanukkah. We should, people want to know, do you prefer sufganiyot or lakas? Sufganiyot. Why is that? Because I don't like lakas. Why is that? Because they taste bad. You do not like potatoes? No, I still like lakas. They, they taste bad. All right, we're done. What is your favorite Hanukkah snack? Lakas. Why is that? Because they're better than everything else. Why is that? That's, I don't know, personally, more of a sufganiyot type of guy. Why do you like lakas more? Because they're better. So that's not a valid answer, man. I just like them better. All right. He likes lakas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We are here. We're interviewing you guys. We just want to know, do you prefer sufganiyot or lakas? I like both. Probably sufganiyot. What about you? Lakas. Lakas? Wow. Guys, a little, more festive uh, than donuts. More festive? Let's hear it. Let's, what's your take on lakas? Lakas are very historic. Sure. Yeah. Historic? I All right. They like lakas because they're historic. Okay. It's here with the freshman. What's your name? Jacob Arenas. All right, what's your name? Danny Schuster. Okay, we want to know for Hanukkah, what do you like? Do you like crispy donuts or creamy sufganiyots? I like crispy lakas, and I usually like when they're hard Pause, and like bro. crispy, like I just said. Aye, aye, that's valid, that's valid. valid. What about you, what about you, Danny? What do you like? So I like, I like the crispy donuts. Why is that? So smooth and like, I love it when the chocolate's in the middle and it just, when I bite down, just... You know, it's just tasty when it goes everywhere and like, you know, it's just good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. You heard it for us. Lock a guy. Soup kind of yoga buzz. All right, we out. All right, we're here with my boy, David. We're asking him a simple Hanukkah question. All right, David, do you like soup kind or lakas? Soup kind Tell me why, man. Because they're jelly donuts and jelly donuts are pretty good. That's we it. have a jelly belly. Okay, I'm here with, what's your name? Aaron Freed. Okay, we have Aaron Freed. Now, what's your favorite Hanukkah snack? Chicken nuggets. What? Chicken nuggets, it's a little unusual one. Why do you like chicken nuggets on Hanukkah? Um, they're just good. They're just good? They're just the best. That's they're why. the best? Yeah. You can't go wrong with chicken nuggets, can you? All right, all right, we're here, we're here. What's your name? Tal. Okay, we got Tal, Tal. The people want to know, we got a question for you. Do you unlock Hanukkah? Do you like sufganiyot or lakas? Uh, sufganiyot. Now, why is that? Because they're like creamy inside and they're like very like tasty and everything. It's just all right. You like sufganiyos because they're creamy and tasty. Sufganiyos or lakas? I like lakas more. Why do you like lakas? I don't know, they're just good. All right, we're here with? Yair Gritzman. Yair Gritzman. Ethan. And Ethan, okay. We're going to ask you boys, what do you like more on Hanukkah? Sufganiyos or lakas? Uh, sufganiyos. Why do you like sufganiyos? Um, it's just, it's not even a question. I mean, it's, it's just a fact. Like, it, it just tastes so much better. I don't know how to explain it. Okay, what do you like more? Yeah, I would agree. I would say donuts are better. All right, we got two donut boys here. We are back and better than ever. Thank you, Aton. Incredible. I love all those freshmen. We miss you, freshmen. Thank you. Okay, now we are going over to Jonathan. Jonathan, you down there? Thank you, Rabbi. Now let's go put these Donna Klein kids to the test and see how they can spell Hanukkah in Hebrew. All right, who do we got here? Uh, Ayal Englander. All right, Ayal. How do you spell Hanukkah in Hebrew? Chet, noon, vav, kaf, hey. Awesome. Good job, y'all. Thank you. All right, who do we got here? Marcus. All right, Marcus. How do you spell Hanukkah in Hebrew? C H A N N U K A H. 
All right, great job. That was in English, but good job, Marcus. Proud of you. Proud of you. All right, who do we got here? We got Jad here. All right, Jad. How do you spell Hanukkah in Hebrew? Hey, noon, kuf, hey. All right, great job. Let's go. All right, who do we got here? Michael Hakim. All right, Michael. How do you spell Hanukkah in Hebrew? Chet, noon, kaf, hey. Great job, Michael. Easy Proud money. of you. Easy money. All right, who do we have here? Hey, I'm Coach Jorge Bolinski. All right, Coach Jorge. How do you spell Hanukkah in Hebrew? You don't know how to spell Hanukkah in Hebrew. It's chet, noon, kaf, hey. Awesome, Coach. Great job. Thank you. All right, who do we have here? Mara Shoshani. All right, Mara Shoshani. How do you spell Hanukkah in Hebrew? Chet, nun, vav, kaf, hey. Awesome. Great job. All right, who do we have here? Avital Horowitz. All right, Avital. How do you spell Hanukkah in Hebrew? Chet, nun, kaf, vav, hey. Close enough. Great job. No, that was not right. It's okay. Now we're going to ask different people and get different opinions on if they think different aspects of Hanukkah is overrated, underrated, or properly rated. Let's go. All right, who do we got here? Ricky Gervais. All right, Ricky. Do you think getting gifts on Hanukkah is overrated, underrated, or properly rated? I mean, I think it's underrated because Hashem really connects with you on Hanukkah. Great answer. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, who do we have here? Erez. All right, Erez. Do you think eating oily foods on Hanukkah is overrated, underrated, or properly rated? Well, you see, I think it is very properly rated. The fine, yummy, grubby foods on Hanukkah are very delicious. All right, who do you have here? Noah. All right, Noah. Do you think Hanukkah in general is overrated, underrated, or properly rated? You know, I think it's a little underrated, you know? You get all the nice, greasy foods bulk up before the new year, and you start your cut, you know? You get into good shape. It's a great opinion. Thank you. Thank you. Who do you have here? Phoebe, Victoria. All right, guys. Do you guys think playing with a dreidel on Hanukkah is overrated, underrated, or properly rated? Um, I think it's a little overrated because, like, nobody ends up finishing the game, so you never get the money at the end. All right, that's valid. What about you? I think it's underrated because we get chocolate. All right, great responses. Thank you. All right, who do we have here? Ethan uh, and Jaden. All right, guys. Do you think getting gifts on Hanukkah is overrated, underrated, or properly rated? I think it's properly rated. Why? Because uh, everyone loves presents. All right, that's valid. What about you? I think it's properly rated as well, because, like, you can't, like, overrate presents, but, like, presents can't be underrated either. All right, that's valid. Thank you. Everyone celebrates Hanukkah for presents. Oh, uh, that... Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who do we have here? We got Johnny. Nate. All right, guys. Do you think Hanukkah is overrated or underrated? I think it's underrated uh -huh. because like it's like around the same time as christmas and then christmas gets all the shine but we all know which holiday is the better holiday hanukkah mm -hmm. the best holiday we get the presents we celebrate with the candles yeah it's the it's my favorite jewish holiday that's valid and that's why i think it's the most underrated awesome all right do you think uh it's overrated or underrated i think it's properly rated probably rated yeah For what? what reason presents it's lit all also, right. the donuts are fire, you know what I mean? Great answer. Sure. Thank you. Yo, Dora Hudson. Dora Hudson. All right, I have a question for you guys. All right, do you guys think lighting the Hanukkah with oil is overrated or underrated? Um, Underrated. Why? Because that was the whole miracle with the oil. Okay, yep, Hudson. What's a Hanukkah? <laughs> um, it's, it's like the, it has like the eight um, candle. I hole. thought Passover was in uh, March. Yeah, pa pa I'm talking about Hanukkah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, great answer. All right, whole table sitting over here. Do you guys think uh, lighting the Hanukkah with oil is overrated or underrated? Mm, uh, um, o overrated? Oh, I already got you. Overrated, underrated? Uh, overrated. Why? Underrated. Um, we should celebrate Hanukkah more. Oh, what, what okay. was that? Can you say that again? Hanukkah. 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 Okay. I'd say the same as Sarah. All uh, right, because it, cause, like you have to celebrate Hanukkah more, right? Right. Exactly. Right. All right. Uh, guys, do you guys think Hanukkah is overrated or underrated? Why? Why? It's like Christmas, but not. All right. What about you? I just think it doesn't live up to the expectations. What are you All right. Saying? What about you? Yeah, it doesn't. Oh well, no. you have a different opinion. Yeah, it's it's okay, underrated. Why? Because it's just better. Like no. it's so good. We get. Right, you know it's underrated. Why? Because. Because. No one really knows about Hanukkah if you're not Jewish. Mm -hmm. So they just think like we get less presents. Yeah. No, everyone else to get more and of No, and like less celebration. Like, like people say Christmas is like more fun, but it is. All right, what about you? <laughs> what was the question? Overrated, underrated, Hanukkah. 
uh, underrated. Why? Um, I, I don't know. Real hard. <laughs> I think right? it's but you. It's it's overrated. Why? Because it just doesn't have the same vibes as Christmas. Exactly. All right. All right, what about you? I think I think it's overrated, but the food is good, so like it doesn't food matter. Like yeah, food, like like Hanukkah food is good. Food the is better, but the vibes are bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe if we had Hanukkah music. <laughs> she says it's overrated because what? Christmas is more of a vibe. Because Christmas is more of a vibe, but I think it's underrated because Christmas is more of a vibe. Like they promote Christmas things. If they promoted Hanukkah things, then people would be like, oh, Hanukkah's really fun. Right, this is getting really heated, but like, thank you all of you guys for your answers. I uh, really appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Do you think uh, Hanukkah is overrated or underrated? Why? Overrated. Why, uh, I can't hear you. Speak up, please. Overrated. Why? Uh, just because it is. All right. What about you? Um, I think it's underrated. Why? Because it's really fun. All right. What about you? Hanukkah, is it overrated or underrated? Underrated. Why? Because you get presents. That's valid. All right. Thank you, all of you guys. All right. Who do we have here? Solomon. All right. All right, Salmon. Do you think eating oily foods is overrated, underrated, or probably rated? I think it's overrated. Why? Because it's not healthy for you. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Uh, We're in the gym right now. Let's see if we can find any stragglers. All right, let's see. Oh. Oh, we have Zach. Okay. Zach. Hello. I have a very important question for you. Uh, hello. Do you think um, getting like presents on Hanukkah, is it overrated, underrated, or properly rated? I think it's a little overrated, actually. Because Why? back in the day, <laughs> we didn't get presents, but now we do. Uh -huh. So, I think it's a little overrated. All I'm right, not gonna right. lie. Thank you, thank you. Great answer. Thank you. All right, Harry, Harry, Harry. Do you think eating uh, chocolate gelt on Hanukkah is overrated, underrated, or properly rated? I think it's actually properly rated. I really enjoy chocolate gelt on uh -huh. Hanukkah. Uh -huh. And that's all I'd say for you. All right, all right, thank you. Appreciate it. All right, who do we have here? Dory, Charlie, Allie. All right, guys, do you think chocolate gelt on Hanukkah is overrated, underrated, or properly rated? Underrated. Why? Because it's just so pretty and it's also like really good chocolate. All right, what about you? Definitely underrated. Why? Just because it tastes really good. All right. It's underrated because Gout's amazing and yeah. All right, great answers. Thank you. All right, who do we have here? Eric. All right, Eric, we got a big question for you, okay? You ready? You think you can answer it? Yep. All right. What about, do you think Hanukkah is overrated, underrated, or properly rated? I think it's underrated because you get to spin the dreidel, you know? When you spin the dreidel, it makes it better. So I think it's underrated because like, eat the lakas, the lakas are fire. Yeah. I love it. Hanukkah's underrated. All right, we're here with some double Hakeem action. Let's see what they think. All right, Michael, do you think Hanukkah is overrated or underrated? You know what? I think it's a very controversial topic, but I think it's a little underrated. I think Hanukkah is one of the best holidays. I think it's better than Christmas. Who's with me? Adina, you with me? I'm with you. All right, oh. Adina, do you think it's overrated or underrated? I do also think it's underrated. I think Hanukkah is very fun mm -hmm. and has good food. You heard it here, folks. Double Hakeem action. All right, Avi. Do you think lighting the Hanukkah candles is overrated, underrated, or probably rated? Let me tell you, it's completely underrated. Singing with your family the Hanukkah songs. Absolute greatest moment of my life. Love to do it. Absolutely underrated. You should try it. Thank you. Wonderful, Avi. Thank you. All right, we got some two freshmen here. Um, my name's Rylan. Uh, Joshi. All right, do you guys think Hanukkah Gelt is overrated or underrated or properly rated? I think it is underrated. Why? It is just very good. Uh, awesome. I think it's properly rated. Why? Because everyone knows it's, it's solid. It's, it's all right. All right, great answer. Thank you. All right, who do we have here? Jacob. Max. All right, guys, do you think playing with the dreidel on Hanukkah is overrated, underrated, or properly rated? I'd say properly rated. Why? No, actually, I changed my mind. Overrated. Why? Just is. You're spinning something. Okay. All right, that's fine. What about you? I, I think it's underrated. You can have a lot of fun. All right. Thank you. Great answers. Great answers for all of you. Who do we have here? Dora Neat. All right, Dora. Do you think uh, oily foods on Hanukkah, is it overrated or underrated? Um, underrated. Why? Because they're so good, we should have more. All right, thank you. All right, we're here with Ms. Joseph. Ms. Joseph, do you think Hanukkah is overrated, underrated, or properly rated? 
Hanukkah is properly rated. I think Hanukkah is a fabulous time. Forget about the gifts, but fa- Hanukkah is a fabulous time to be with family, eat lots of latkes, have lots of soup ganiot, and just enjoy your family. Light candles, bring the light into this world that we so desperately need. That's a great answer. Thank you. Eitan, how are you down there, my friend? We are there for my favorite my favorite segment of Hanukkah. Do you say Hanukkah or do you say Hanukkah? Eitan, take us away. Okay, we're some sophomores. What are your names? Victoria. Eric. Skyler. Okay, how do y'all pronounce Hanukkah? Do you say Hanukkah or Hanukkah? Hanukkah. Hanukkah, Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Okay, they're all Hanukkah people. Okay, what's your name? Dorneet. All right, Dorneet, how do you say Hanukkah? Do you say Hanukkah or Hanukkah? Hanukkah. Hanukkah, yeah. Okay, we're with the Don Klein seniors here. We're gonna ask them how they pronounce Hanukkah. Do you say Hanukkah or Hanukkah? I say, uh, Hanukkah. What about you? Hanukkah. If you say Hanukkah, you're a Shagitz. <laughs> I go, uh, Hanukkah. And you? Hanukkah. Oh, Hanukkah and Hanukkah. Hey, Eris. Uh, do you say Hanukkah or Hanukkah? Hoinikki? What is that? What's Hoinikki? He says Hoinikki! Okay, we're here with one of our Don Klein seniors. What's your name? Eden. All right, Eden, do you say Hanukkah or Hanukkah? Hanukkah. Hanukkah. All right, we're here with our ceramic specialist, Mrs. Hassan. Mrs. Hassan, do you say Hanukkah or Hanukkah? I say Hanukkah. She says Hanukkah. You heard it here first. Leo. On Hanukkah, do you say Hanukkah or Hanukkah? Um, I'm more of a Hanukkah type of guy. Hanukkah man, Hanukkah man. All right, what's your name? My name is actually um, Tyler Turn. Tyler Turn, he's two turn. All right, do you say Hanukkah or Hanukkah? Well, I used to say Hanukkah, but since converting to Donna Klein Jewish Academy, I feel like my Jewish values have really increased and I'm more of a Hanukkah guy now. He's say. changed, boys. Oh, okay, we're there at Donna Klein Seniors. What's your name? Jerus. Okay, what's your name? Dovi. Okay, Dovi Choose. How do you guys pronounce Hanukkah? Do you say Hanukkah or Hanukkah? Hanukkah. What about you? Hanukkah. Okay. Uh, well, here are some Don Klein 11th graders. What's your name? Uh, Nace. Got Nace. What's your name? He's easy. All right. Do you guys pronounce it Hanukkah or Hanukkah? Uh, Hanukkah. Got one Hanukkah. Hanukkah as well. Another Hanukkah. Okay, more Lydia. How do you pronounce Hanukkah? Do you say Hanukkah or Hanukkah? Chanuka. <laughs> Chanuka. <sighs> Hello, what's your name? Leora. Hi, Leora. Do you say Hanukkah or Hanukkah? Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Oh my gosh, this is an incredible segment. We are back. We're going to send it over to the teachers. We need a little humor from the teachers. Anybody got a joke out there? Come on, take us away. Yeah. All right, thanks, Rabbi. We're here with Miss Schneider with her favorite Hanukkah joke. And a great one it is. Why did the dreidel go to the doctor? because it was having dizzy spells. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, that was really something. Thank you, I know, great joke. <laughs> All right, we're here with Miss Dubbo with her favorite stupid Hanukkah joke. All right, Miss Dubbo, what do you have for us? Wait, the walkie's going. <laughs> just do it, just keep going. Okay, here's the problem that since I don't know too many Hanukkah jokes, I, I, I found one. Okay, so Miriam goes to the post office to buy stamps for her Hanukkah cards one year. She says to the cashier, please, may I have 50 Hanukkah stamps? The cashier asks, what denomination? Miriam says, oy vey, has it come to this? Okay, give me six Orthodox, 12 conservatives, and 32 reform. That was a really, really bad joke. That was so bad. Okay, that was great. Oh, God. Hey, Miss Leibowitz, what's your favorite Hanukkah joke? What's the difference between Hanukkah and a dragon? What, what's the difference? One lasts for eight nights and one eight nights. Oh, that's so funny. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> go away now. All right. Hey, Rabbi Spodak, what's your favorite Hanukkah joke? Oh, I got a great one. You ready? Which hand is it best to light the candles with? Which one? I don't know. Neither. It's best to light them with a candle. Oh, Rabbi, thank you. Oh, it's amazing. All right, we're here with Mr. Obido. Mr. Obido, what's your favorite Hanukkah joke? Why did the boy put his money in the freezer? Why? He need oh. a cold cash. Oh. Oh. Wow. 
Hey, Mr. Miniello, what's your favorite Hanukkah joke? What's the best Hanukkah gift to give someone who owns everything? A burglar alarm. (laughs) 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 Hey, Miss Joseph, what's your favorite Hanukkah joke? Which is the best hand to light the menorah with? Which one? Neither. It's best to light it with a candle. Okay, okay. Dr. Estivo, what's your favorite Hanukkah joke? I have so many. So how many potatoes does it take to make potato pancakes? A lot, eh? No! (laughs) Miss Feingold! Miss Feingold, what's your favorite Hanukkah joke? What do you get for the guy who has everything? What? A bodyguard. (laughs) Laugh! Laugh! Start laughing. Great. And we are back. Thank you, Ben. Ben, amazing jokes. Love those jokes, teachers. Thank you. Very, very funny. Love it. Love it. Okay, here we go. We are on to the next segment here in our evening, or or actually morning. I'm sorry about that. We are here for our next segment. We're going to learn how to light the Hanukkah menorah. It's Hanukkah, right? I'm not going to need this real thing. Okay. There we go. There we go. We're not gonna need, oh. We got this. We got this. Okay, here it is. Hanukkah. We are set. We got the shamish, my favorite candle. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start off on this side. Let's say it's the first night, you'll just do the one candle, right? But if it's the second night, you're gonna start off with the newest candle and then go backwards. So imagine that you're like on day. I don't know, maybe you're on day, oops, we're falling here, or on day, oof. you got this? We got Josh helping me in the studio. Josh, how's this look? Oh man, this is not going good. Here we go. So let's say you're on day seven. Oh my gosh, look at this. I'm going to I'm gonna have to tie these down somehow. Oh my gosh, this is like a new game you play. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to start off. We're gonna light the we're gonna light the shamash. We're gonna start over here. We're gonna keep going. Let me see if I get this one on. Oh my gosh, look at this. Eight candles. Can he do it? We got it! Eight nights of Sonica! Okay, we're lighting the candles. We got them all prepared here. What are the blessings? We got we got three blessings on the first day. We're on the second day here, actually. So we're gonna do we're gonna do two blessings. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Kedeshanu B'Mitzvotav Vitzivanu Lehadlik Nir. And then we do the next blessing. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Shasa Nisim Avoteinu Bayamim Ha'hein It's pretty good. Bazman Hazeh Again, we're going to start with the one that we're actually on. We're on day two right now. Start right here. Over there. Oh, good Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Every year, the Maccabees bring out a new song. This year, oh my goodness, my favorite one. Take us away. Illumination. If you want to celebrate with us, we got a holiday. We call the Festival of Lights. Come on, let's go. 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 Just 
the Yachas was an evil guy Failing our religion and our family tradition was impossible to justify Judah won the fight, miracle of light, shining to this very day We'll carry on forever in this holiday together and we'll never let it fade away The whole year, anticipating, Sufaniot, potato grating, 2,000 years, 